hello everyone welcome back to another video on crack concepts so in this video i will be talking about aws pricing so the first one is on demand instances so with on on demand instances you pay for compute capacity by the second with no long term commitments so as the name suggests on demand instances whenever you demand an instance you will get it since you are demanding it on the fly you are demanding for features on the fly it will also be expensive because you're just asking for it for it and you're getting it okay so it'll be expensive also you have control over the instance life cycle you decide when to launch stop hibernate start reboot or terminate it there is no long term commitment okay so there will be no long term commitment and you pay second by second okay you pay only for the seconds that your on demand instances are in the running state with a 60 second minimum so what this means is if you're using the instance for say 80 seconds then you will pay for 80 seconds but if you're using the instance for say 20 seconds you will still pay for 60 seconds because you have to pay for 60 seconds per day that is how on demand instances work okay and uh, the price per second for a running on demand instance is fixed and is listed over here so this is what on demand instance is um we recommend that you use on demand instances for applications with short term irregular workloads that cannot be interrupted so whenever you have very short term work you can use this or say uh, when you do not know what kind of load is lo load can occur on your website or on your system that's when you should use on demand instances say say uh, you have a website and you anticipated 5000 users to uh, use the website but all of a sudden like 10000 or 20000 users are hitting your website that's when on demand instances will be very helpful because you can demand for instances and you will get it and that will help your website or system to work better so this is the use case of on demand instances the second type is reserved instances so as the name suggests these instances are reserved these are not like on demand instances like when you want to demand for it and you will get it's not like that these are reserved for a set number of days say one year or three year okay so reserve instances provide you with significant savings on your amazon ec2 cost compared to the on demand instance pricing because you are reserving it beforehand so you will get good amount of discount okay say around 72% discount you can get up to 72% discount you can get and the term commitment as i already mentioned whether it will be one year or three year the three year commitment if you have a three year commitment then you will get a greater discount than the one year commitment and these reserved instances do not renew automatically say after one year this instance is over so when this will expire you will continue using it without interruption but you are charged on demand rates okay so you will you will be charged a higher amount of uh, money in the above example when the reserved instance that cover the t2 and c4 instances expire you go back to paying the on demand rates until you terminate the instances or purchase new reserved instances so they will not get renewed you have to uh, you have to pay as per the on demand instance rates okay and the payment option there are three payment options all up front like you'll pay everything all at once okay or partial up front so half money will be paid uh beforehand and the half money will be paid early basis and then no upfront you are built a discounted early rate early rate for every hour within the term regardless of whether the reserve instance is being used no upfront payment is required and offering class is standard and convertible so there are two types of reserve instances uh, the standard one which is basically the non convertible one and then the second one is convertible so convertible means you can convert your instance type so before maybe you were using a t2 medium size then you want to convert it to t2 large you can do that because it's a convertible reserved instance but converted convertible reserved instances are also a little more expensive than the standard one third type is spot instances 
Amazon EC2 Spot Instance lets you take advantage of unused EC2 capacity in the AWS cloud. Now, what this means is you can uh, you can take um, instances from AWS, all the unused uh, instances, at a very discounted rate. Okay, at up to ninety percent discount. That's huge. Okay, ninety percent discount is a lot, but the only drawback over here is that it is not reliable you can be thrown out anytime okay the moment aws gets a customer that will pay him more than you are paying aws can throw you out aws can take away the instance that it provided you earlier so it's not reliable but it gives you a huge amount of discount so the use case for this will probably be wherever your work is flexible okay you do not need the instance for a set amount of time like it's okay if you get uh, get the instance for a couple of uh, hours today and couple of hours tomorrow a couple of hours some other day there's no restriction on time okay you're flexible on that then you can use this one you can use spot instance because it will give you a good amount of discount and even if it is taken away from you you can get it back some other day like tomorrow or day after tomorrow whenever the instance is again free aws will provide it back to you so this is the whole funda of spot instance you get maximum saving over here but it is not reliable you can be thrown away any moment so this is what spot instance is the fourth type is amazon ec2 dedicated host so Amazon EC2 dedicated hosts allow you to use your eligible software licenses from vendors such as Microsoft and Oracle, Oracle uh, on Amazon EC2 so that you get the flexibility and cost effectiveness of using your own licenses. Okay, but also the simplicity and elasticity of AWS. Basically, whenever you want to use your own licenses, you can use dedicated hosts. So the use case for this could be for security purposes. Whenever you want to use your licenses uh, there's a term for this b y o l bring your own license this is when dedicated host could be of use okay you could have on demand uh, dedicated host or you could also have reserved dedicated host and there are uh, the advantages would be as discussed earlier in in the same video So that is it for this video i hope all the four types were easy for you all to understand if you all found this video helpful make sure you all like this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time also uh, also check out the aws playlist i have added a lot of aws related videos over there and also a lot of other aws related videos will come in that playlist so make sure you all check it out so that is it. Uh, I will see you guys next time.